Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Half number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I'm here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Tauruses who are watching. So if you have Taurus as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Taurus, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and begin and get started, Taurus, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign, so it may or may not resonate for you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. Also, Taurus, I do want to wish all of my Tauruses watching this a happy holiday season. Today is New Year's Eve, so I do hope every single one of you watching this has a beautiful New Year's, a safe one, a blessed one, and yeah, let's welcome in the year of 2024. But without further ado, Taurus, let's go ahead and officially begin and get started here. Let's see what energy we have going on for Taurus, please, at this time. Can we please receive a couple messages, please, from my Tauruses? Who's this person that Taurus is dealing with currently? And how does this person truly feel towards Taurus? All right, Taurus, so we have two messages that came out on their own. Let's go ahead and keep both of those just in case one may resonate for you, Taurus. Of course, we'll have some more specific messages here in a bit. What else do we need to know in regards to this person and the energy for Taurus? One more message for now. And let's keep what we have so far here. All right, so let's get into this message. Me trusting you again, that's off the table. Your carelessness will cost you if you're not careful with me. Things don't have to be weird between us. I'm willing to start fresh if you are. How much do I mean to you? And it's like you're the one I've been waiting on this whole time. Okay, Taurus, so it seems like this pertains to someone that you had a falling off with or maybe things ended between you two could be a past person, including the recent past here, Taurus. I do feel like you stayed in this connection and what I mean by that exactly is you wanted this to work. Perhaps your feelings and emotions were very involved. You, you wanted this to happen, make it work together and you were willing to do what you could to prolong this connection in the most successful way possible so that's what i mean by you stayed in this connection taurus but once you felt like things weren't going in the way or the direction that you ideally had in mind i feel like that's when you backed away or it could have happened where you taurus you were giving this the benefit of the doubt giving this time to bloom to blossom but you saw this person's true colors or what they truly wanted out of this connection and it didn't match what you were putting into and also didn't match what you wanted here so i feel like that's the energy between you two tours but you give this you did give this time here First we have, it's like you're the one I've been waiting on this whole time, your energy Taurus. Initially, when things were going well, when you could get a hold of this person, when they were making you happy, I feel like this is what you wanted. You couldn't ask for more and you were just wishing and hoping for the best for the both of you. So it's like you're the one I've been waiting on this whole time, also meaning you're in it with this person, you're invested in only and solely them. But then we have things don't have to be weird between us, your energy, Taurus. Say there was some fuzziness or some lack of clarity when things started to feel off the energy, the vibe. You, you felt like something was off or this person wasn't acting or being as present as they once were. And trying to get that cleared up, Taurus, because you unknowingly and unknowingly not knowing what this person's deal is, 
how they feel about you. It's like you brought your energy, your natural energy into this connection, but I feel like perhaps this person started to shade you or, and by shade you, Taurus, I mean back away from you or just not contribute the same energy like they once were here. So things don't have to be weird between us. Any tension, that elephant in the room feeling, let's squash that or let's understand that together because that's that's uncomfortable for me and us Tauruses we like to be comfortable in all ways especially in relationships because that's sacred energy that we're sharing so things don't have to be weird between us you gave this person time how much do I mean to you your energy Taurus questioning or wondering does this really matter to this person in the way that it matters to me do they want the same for me as I want for them? Do they have my best interest at heart? How much do I mean to you? Your carelessness will cost you if you're not careful with me. Your energy, Taurus, you're valuable, you're radiant, you're abundant. And that's not an energy to be tampered or played with. So let me know straight up, let me know straightforward here, but I'm not about to tolerate being disrespected, or <laughs> excuse me, being disrespected or feeling hurt from you so your carelessness will cost you if you're not careful with me you're not about to treat me like an option or put me on the back burner me trusting you again that's off the table perhaps there was that energy or element or action of betrayal from this person's side and ever since that went down that happened to you Taurus you see things for what they truly are and what they truly mean to this person so you snatched away your trust back and last but not least for now, how or not how much do I mean to you? I'm willing to start fresh if you are. This person's energy, Taurus, but I do feel like the conflict that went down or whatever happened, Taurus, that has you turn the opposite way. Of course, you may be feeling differently. All right, Taurus. Let's go ahead and see what else we have going on for my Tauruses, please, when it comes to their energy. Two more messages for Taurus, please. All right, Taurus, so we have just because I'm busy doesn't mean I don't think about you. I preoccupy my mind with the thought of you. You are divine, Taurus, you are divine. You show me so much love, I want to give you so much more in return. And then we also have, I'm sorry I can't solve your insecurities. So Taurus, it's like you were trying to curate the energy of love and that's harmony, unity, being together, honesty, just something healthy, something straightforward with this person and your love was received for what it truly is here. You're selfless Taurus and I feel like it, it really makes you feel good when you share and express your love in your own way. So it's, it's definitely received and it was by this person. But I do feel like this person did not handle this or approach this in the proper way, especially in a way that reflects the energy that you give out. If there was something going on behind your back towards this person, they have offered up excuses or even apologies and regrets. But it's like, if you really felt that way about me, you wouldn't have put yourself in a position to jeopardize what you have going on with me. I'm sorry I can't solve your insecurities. When I saw this card, Taurus, I do apologize for any background noise you may hear, but when I saw this card, I thought of, that's not a me problem, that's a you problem. So you can't put that on me or blame that on something else when you were in control of your actions and your energy that you put out here. But this may be something very specific for you, but I'm sorry I can't solve your energy. Or I do apologize, Taurus, I'm thinking, I'm thinking faster than I can speak. I'm sorry I can't solve your insecurities. I feel like that's your energy, Taurus. So you saying this from yourself to this person, if that makes sense. Just because I'm busy doesn't mean I don't think about you. I preoccupy my mind with the thought about you or thought of you, excuse me. So for your energy, Taurus, I feel like you always made time for this person. You had things going on. You had other things to focus on. But because this person mattered to you, you made time for them. You you reminded them of your energy. As far as this person's energy, this could be them in the sense that they left you alone, Taurus. They would come in and out or be inconsistent. They could have actually been busy, Taurus, but I feel like their presence was lacking here. So you are following through with actions over words. 
you've shown me so much love i want to give you so much more in return this person's energy taurus taking your love for what it truly is so say they are genuine or they do want to reconcile them giving back to you because they know the energy that has taken place already and you are divine this is a message for you taurus but i do feel like from this person's side you stick out you stand out to them so they definitely feel that loss if they did lose you all right taurus last but not least we have a couple signs our first sign is leo for taurus taurus could be dealing with another taurus pisces and capricorn so leo taurus pisces capricorn but taurus i'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that for today as always i appreciate the love and support please like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you next time bye